Here's the thing, and this is the very powerful and important answer to this really good question. It is a nice thing when you decide to be nicer to yourself, which means don't beat up on yourself with your pattern of negative thought. Be nicer to yourself, don't beat up on yourself with continuing patterns of resistant thought. Feel the vibrational difference between being there where you're constantly having to be nicer to yourself, where you're constantly having to forgive yourself because you felt that way and it's okay. And getting on a sort of rampage or a pattern where it just feels better and better and better and better. And the thing that is required in that, it really requires establishing as your first priority, your relationship with your inner being who is always there with you and ready to romp, which leads us to this really important acknowledgement. Connection to your inner being feels like a lot of different emotions to you, but every one of them feels good. So if the emotion in response to the mix of thoughts that you've got going on at any point in time feels satisfying to you, then stick with it and let the momentum carry it to a faster moving thought, to a more productive thought in that more thoughts are turning to more things so that you get to personally feel what your inner being feels like relative to this thought you are thinking. So the way that translates in your experience is thoughts that feel like, ooh, that's interesting. That's a leading to exaltation kind of thought. Oh, that's disturbing. That's not one of those thoughts. Oh, that worries me. Oh, that's not one of those thoughts. Be aware of what the emotion that you're feeling feels like and which way it leans. Because sometimes when we talk about exaltation and clarity and passion and alignment and love and appreciation and those emotions that you find often and that you know feel so good, you want to jump from where you are right to that. Well, the law of attraction does not work that way. You've got to allow yourself an increasingly resistance-free environment in order for you to allow that momentum. So let's just consciously acknowledge that the acceleration or the increase in momentum is always about the decrease of resistance. And so then let's just say that an increase in momentum is always about a decrease of negative emotions. Now let's go back precisely to what we were talking about earlier, but let's say it in different words. Are we talking about the path of most good feelings or are we talking about a path of fewer bad feelings? But you are where you are. You are where you are. And so this is what we really want you to feel about the emotional scale. It doesn't matter where you are on the emotional scale. There are feelings that feel better and feelings that feel worse. And so rather than comparing yourself to the whole world, let you yourself have a relationship with your inner being who is actively involved in your emotional guidance system. And what anybody else thinks about anything is irrelevant. That's the ultimate you being nice to you. One last thing we want to say, we know you heard all of that, but what to do about it. Now, what to do about it, how to apply that in a sort of real way. Well, what we would do if we were standing in your physical shoes is that we would understand the value, the loveliness, the importance of our guidance system, of our emotions, and we would embrace them all. Because we promise you, your inner being is never looking at you, no matter where you stand in any thought or in any emotion, and judging you as inappropriate. Your inner being always remains in that vibration of love. But you've got to put yourself in a position where you can get within range of being swept up as one of the cooperative components. Your inner being is not going to join you in those lower vibrations in order to pull you back. You have to be self-adjusting. You have to care about how you feel and you have to practice the way that you do feel. You have to care about how you feel and you have to practice the way that you do feel. 